Good evening, I'm Barbara Pinto. And I'm Chris Bury. Tonight, an in-depth look at Chicago's real estate market. Could there be signs of life? New sales figures show home sales are emerging from a five-year coma. Is this the beginning of the end for the worst housing market in decades? But is this a positive trend with some staying power or just an upswing before another letdown? Tonight, perspective from those in the trenches, a developer, a buyer, a seller, and a broker. Tom Walsh knows the neighborhoods and streets of Chicago. For 20 years, this real estate broker has sold ownership in the city, one house at a time. After watching a booming market go bust, he's regaining his optimism. Regardless of how tough it's been, I still love this business. After the real estate crash in 2008, Walsh says things got even tougher. People had basically had to put their lives on hold. And now I feel we're seeing better days here. This past March was the busiest for Chicago home sales since 2008. The Illinois Association of Realtors says nearly 8,000 existing homes and condos were sold in the Chicago metropolitan area. And prices were up 2% over last year. Those modest gains, a welcome relief from the way things were just four years ago. I would say at least 50% of my business was, was getting people out of these uh, situations where their mortgage was more than what the property was worth. Many of those homes languished on the market for more than a year, only to sell at a loss. These days, Walsh says inventory is low and more buyers are looking. The seller's market is back. But instead of multiple offers wildly above the asking price, today's bidders are bargain hunting, offering to pay well below. Oh, hi, Mr. and Mrs. Scala. How are you? Joe and Shirley Scala of Chicago's Portage Park neighborhood sold their home in just two weeks for a bit below what they were asking. The retired couple wanted to move last year, but like so many sellers, held off until the market recovered. They're glad they did and stunned at the speed of the sale. We didn't think that we, it would be two weeks. We thought it would probably go away till August or September, but that, that was nice. And while sellers like the Scalas are happy their homes are going so quickly, buyers, meanwhile, are getting frustrated. And there's just nothing. There's not, there's just, there's nothing to, um, on the market. I had no clue. Judy Tillman lives in the Logan Square neighborhood with her two dogs. Now she's looking for a two flat with no luck. Her frustration typical in today's marketplace. Oh yeah, there's like three or four other brokers there showing people. So you kind of got to, you know, maneuver around other parties as they're looking as well. Judy's plight is a positive sign for real estate developers like Tom Romano in business since 1994. There's not an inventory base, so we're trying to build up that inventory base and, and, and it's, uh, it's all good news as far as we're concerned, you know. And good news for the struggling construction industry. Romano says he's building at least three multi-unit condos and hiring hundreds of workers. I haven't felt like this in probably five years, so, uh, so I think times are, times are back here in Chicago. It's alive. 